Hi, this is Heidi from Blackhawk Paramotor. We are continuing the video on assembling your Kestrel frame. My portion right now is the Kestrel Pro. So if you have a Kestrel Pro, please watch how you install the arms and the harness. Okay, with your weight shift arms, you're gonna take the plastic spacer and the bolt and put it through like this. Do this to each arm first. Once your plastic spacer is on and the bolt is through the hole, go ahead and place it on your frame. Now that the bolt is through the hole, take your lock nut and secure. You can use your Allen wrench and your socket wrench to help you do this. Take your Allen wrench, put it inside the bolt on the outer part of the arm, and then your socket wrench, and you're gonna wanna tighten because this bolt will end up having two lock nuts on it. Okay, you're gonna tighten that first bolt just enough to where your arm has motion, but that it doesn't fall down. Once that is complete, take your second lock nut and place it on behind. Be sure that your second lock nut is snug to the first and there should be no space here on the arm bar. Once you have finished installing the second lock nut on one arm, do the exact same thing to the other side. This is Mike Robinson with Blackhawk Paramotor USA. In this portion of the Kestrel assembly video, I'm going to show you how to install the Kestrel Pro weight shift harness. First thing you do is lay out your harness and you need all the components to assemble the harness. The back pad, really nice feature, it's approximately two inches thick and it has this wicking system which does keep you a little bit cooler from the heat of the engine or the heat of the outside temperature. Notice that it's a different shape, narrower at the top, wider at the bottom, such as the Kestrel frame. There's approximately eight Velcros, and they attach as such. You want to keep the pad high, even with this top bar. The very first Velcro here will pass through this point right here. Install the back pad first, and then install the harness. You don't necessarily need the Velcros real tight, but I do like the pad to be lined up evenly. And you can see the Velcros line up nicely with openings that you have available. And then just continue on installing the Velcros. And then take the bottom Velcro. And you want to get it behind the straps here, the net straps, and back up to the harness. This way the pad is not going to move up or down because it's secured at the top and at the bottom. Like so. Voila. Now we got that uh, beautiful pad properly assembled. Now it's the harness's turn. First thing to do is assemble the top straps. I want these straps as high to your rubber hand cushion as possible. To as high as your rubber hand cushion as possible. Go around the back side. I like to go twice. Okay? Then I'll loosen it and I'll slide it underneath. As you see me do here. Kind of creates a little bit of a lock on the strap and doesn't allow the strap to slip. Okay, I've locked the strap in. I'm keeping that buckle as high as possible. Open the buckle. Slide it in. Notice I have this nice and tight. If the harness is kept up high, then the unit remains in the right spot on your back. 
Next, we'll do the other side. Very simple, guys. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to give us a call or watch the video several times and, and you'll get it once you've done it. Once, all other times are easy. Please notice how I have the same distance across. You don't want to offset your harness to one side or the other. Okay, so now we've installed the top of the harness. Now we're going to install the clevises for the red strap portion of the harness. Again, very easy to do. I like to have the end of the clevis on the outside so it doesn't catch on anything. Install it as such, bring it up, run it through the bottom of the swing arm. It has a little locking mechanism where you just turn it slightly and it locks down. You'll feel the resistance and then you'll feel the lock down. Remember to do things in order so you don't forget anything. I then take a little zip tie. I place it on the back side of the clevis and then through the hole in the clevis. This will help keep the clevis from ever coming loose. As I mentioned, it does have a lock, but this is just another insurance policy. When you tighten this small zip tie, don't over tighten it. Don't put stress on the zip tie, it doesn't need it. It just needs to keep the clevis from spinning. See, it's fairly loose or lightly snug is where I have it. Leave it as such. Cut the excess. Remember to cut the excess or cut the, the zip tie off very close to where it locks. I actually got stitches a few years back when I didn't cut one of these tight enough and hit my arm across it and it gave me a few stitches. So make sure that that is cut flush. Check your mobility. This harness has pulleys by Harkin that have ball bearings on them for your speed bar. Make sure that that's free and then you have another pulley down here where your speed bar line would come from. So all that is free. That looks good. Now on to the next step. The next step and the last step to securing the harness to the main frame is the back strap. Again, very easy to install. Simply hold the harness back, go around the main frame, This strap simply keeps the bottom of the harness from swinging out on you. Doesn't need to be real tight because you don't want stress on the harness. Just lightly snug it. As you can see, I just ran the strap across the back. If you have any excess on your buckle, again, just run a little half hitch through it. Like so. The last step is to secure your safety strap. This could be an important step to not miss. You can pull your carabiner down, slide it over it, raise your carabiner back. It's that simple. There's the installation of your safety strap. The next thing to do will be to hang the Kestrel unit with a half a tank of fuel and you in it. We'll cover that in another video. If you click on the links below, you will find retention strap videos, safety strap videos, harness assembly for both the high hang point and the Kestrel Pro weight shift. You'll also find links to the assembly of the cages. I hope you found today's Blackhawk Paramotor USA's tips and tricks valuable. There's many tips and tricks on our Blackhawk Paramotor USA YouTube channel. Please check them out. 
Additionally, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give us a call at 209-786-7899. Thank you for watching.